GMA 5350B 5 channel amplifier 1989 very nice looking amp I'll show you the controls in a, in a minute on this side you have your LED for your power these are the crossover settings here as you can see for the front rear subwoofer this is a sensitivity adjustment here front rear and the sub and also you have a switch here um, whether you want five channel three channel um, if you want to bridge the front or bridge the rear that's where you uh, set the the switch This is the other side of the amplifier. You can see here you have your DIN input and output, front and rear uh, RCA inputs. These are your front um, outputs, rear outputs. And this is for the sub channel. Two 30 amp fuses. And from left to right, you have. Um, your remote on which is a switch your positive from the battery and your ground uh, this is the bottom of the amplifier so basically you just remove six uh, fasteners here three here and three there remove the bottom cover here For you guys that like to take a look at the internals. I connect this to the, yeah, I have it uh, connected to this, uh, to this single voice Eclipse 10 inch. And, um, and a couple other speakers that I have laying around. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my sound source and listen to a little bit of music. This is the only manual that I have for the amp. Let me go over some features here. It tells you about the preamp output so you can uh, connect it to another amplifier. So the uh, DIN output is made so that you can connect it to an additional amplifier if you like
this goes over mounting locations and wiring uh, guidelines connections and the uh, controls that I went over a little while ago at the uh, use 14 to 16 gauge wire for speaker connections power connections uh, switch power battery ground the gain adjustments crossover adjustments troubleshooting if you have any issues when you install it Just different uh, configurations here. That's a standard five channel. For two subs, two uh, with uh, front and rear. And then you have uh, two, two full range and one sub. Then you have uh, one sub, two full range, and then same for the, shows the same on the bottom here. That's about it for that. It does come with a wire. Looks like 10 gauge, not, not very heavy. I'll probably go with a little thicker wire than that, but this is what they supplied at the time for the amp, and it has some uh, crimp uh, connectors. This is the the back of the original box here. This is what it looks like. This tells you a little bit about the power source 350. Uh, and uh, different setup, I guess, that you can do with it. Five or three channel amplifier. The big blob on or logo here on one side. And then um, some features here. I'll show the other side for English. This would be the top side of the amplifier box here. This is an article um, that featured this amp. This is from uh, Audio Magazine 1989. Um, the article is on the bottom, as you can see here, it says a lot and a little. Blancpunk's new BMA 5350B automobile power amp. Retail $850. Um, the power source 350 is a five channel amplifier with fully integrated electronic crossover as well as smart power supply that uh, portions power along the output amplifiers and carefully regulates the signal quality within the unit are four 50 watt uh, amplifiers reachable to two times 100 watts and a 150 watt subwoofer amp That's about it and just goes over some of the features here that we already went over. I just wanted to include this right here and show you that um, when they introduced this uh, amplifier. Thanks a lot for watching.